Today we're exploring North West Wales, in particular St Michael's Church near to Carnarvon. Here we are, we're in St Michael's Church now, we're just at the gates. And St Michael's, or as it is in Welsh, Llan uh, Vihangel, it is uh, the, the broken down version of uh, Llan Vihangel and Rig is Llan Rig. So Llan Rig is the shortened version of this very area. Hi, well here we are in St Michael's Cemetery and there's a quite a... And it's actually a VC winner. And, and there's a, obviously a re replica of the VC on his cross for valour. And it, it, and it reads, Sacred to the memory of General Sir Hugh Rowland, KCB VC of Plastirion, who passed to rest on the 1st day of August 1909, aged 81 years. Beloved of his country, which he served so well, and of all who knew him, and of his wife, Isabella Jane, who joined him in eternal rest on the 31st day of May 1917, aged 75, General Sir Hugh Rowland, KCB, VC. That's quite interesting, and I tell you what, it's a lovely. What a spot this is! Yeah, this is St Michael's Church, Llanrig, well, between Llanrig and Winebow, Carnarvonshire. Snowden in the distance over there. The mountains over there. And it's a beautiful day, beautiful day, a little bit windy. Yes, so Hugh Rowland, who was a native born in Llanrig, and he was quite um, well known in the area, lived to a grand old age. Actually won the VC in the Crimean War when himself as a captain in the 41st Welsh uh, Regiments of foot. What him and another man rescued a badly wounded colonel from the regiment, and him and his colleague were subsequently awarded the VC. Okay, well, some some incredibly old graves here, and, and by one here it says William Edward, fourth of March. 1786, aged 84 years of age. Now that is one old grave that is still standing, or in this case lying flat. And the church is approximately a mile away from the, the village itself, between Llanrig and Winebower, and it's uh, quite an important church. There's ancient parts, there's modern parts. Uh, the modern area has been quite nicely developed with a car park, notice boards, that sort of thing, uh, modern graves, and also f further near to the church itself there's some very, very old graves, including a very important grave of Llan possibly Llanrig's most famous son. He went on to uh, have a fantastic military career, including um, action in the Zulu War, what would that be, uh, probably late 1880s. Uh, when by that time he was a colonel and eventually he did retire as a general and of course he was knighted for his services um, to the military and also he had the award of the VC, the greatest honour and he was indeed the first Welshman to receive the VC. Quite an honour for the village and a huge honour for Wales and of course for Sir Hugh Rowland himself. 
There is a photograph of him. There's probably one photograph of him and uh, as a young man, and he had um, a really huge bushy moustache, uh, which was, of course, of the era. That was the uh, fashion of the era. And obviously a military man throughout his life. A great man. <laughs>